Welcome back to the Midday Reset. My name is Antoinette, and thanks for taking a break with me today. Everyday life can get stressful as we move through responsibilities and commitments, and it's nice to take a break or two. This Midday Reset is meant to serve as a mini mental vacation for your brain as you deal with it all. Let's start by clearing our space with a nice deep breath in and out. Again, in and out. Once more, in and out. I want to talk to you today about affirmation. I like to refer to it as the art of saying nice things to yourself. I want to start this episode off with an exercise. Think of your very best friend. If you have more than one, then think of them all. Think of three traits about your best friend that you appreciate about them. No need to write any of this down unless you want to. Is this person successful? Think of one success your best friend has had. Do you love this person? Think of three reasons why you love them. I'm thinking that you must have a positive picture in your mind, which is great. Otherwise, why would that person be your best friend? If you picked up a pencil earlier, keep it in hand. If you were not writing, this is a good point in the episode for you to start, or you might consider coming back to this when you are able to write this next portion down. This time, we will do a similar exercise, but instead of thinking about your best friend, I want you to think about yourself. Think of three traits you appreciate about yourself. Are you successful? Think of one recent success that you have had, and side note, I hope that you celebrated it. (laughs) Do you love yourself? Write down all of the reasons why you love yourself. Now, look at this picture. You should have the words written down. Is this picture as positive? Was it harder to think of traits you like about yourself or reasons you love yourself? Are you currently acknowledging your successes? If not, don't worry. You are not alone. Our world invites a lot of comparison through all of the accessibility that is shared with regard to other people's lives. We see several highlights people post on timelines and other rapidly updating feeds, and a common response is to look at our own lives to see how we measure up. It is easy to get pulled into a mindset where the user is casting so much light onto those they see, who appear to be having fun or looking particularly good, that they leave themselves in the shadows. And it's in those shadows that the critical, not-so-nice inner voice rises up. I've dealt with my own anxiety for years, and therefore can say firsthand that this inner critic can be a beast standing in the way to conquering the other beast that is anxiety. I'm sure people who confront bipolar disorder, depression, mania, and other afflictions would agree. And the research on all that is still emerging, by the way. It's impossible to know exactly what effect a certain drug, trend, or phenomenon will have until years down the line. It's the reason you see certain drugs advertised on television, and then seven or eight years later, you'll see an announcement from a law firm who is taking clients who have suffered complications due to taking this drug. Social media is the same. Ten years from now, a lot will be uncovered about how it all affects us. And all of it is not bad. I enjoy staying connected to the people in my village through social media, but I also had to learn to have a good relationship with it in order to detach my emotions from it, which were fueling my anxiety. All this to say, regardless of why you undervalue yourself, you can easily improve this tendency by intentionally reminding yourself of all that you do right. You should praise yourself for how far you've come by remembering where you started. If you need a new start, make time for it now. In the same way you were able to gush about your best friend, you should also be able to acknowledge all that you have going for you and do so happily, not boastfully, not shyly, just happily. 
This is called affirmation, and I invite you to try it. You affirm yourself by telling yourself something positive. This shifts your outlook to the more positive and helps you power through what you are facing. You can build these positive statements into your journal entries as a reminder to you. You can recite them to yourself. However, you can remind yourself of your strengths and blessings. If there are inspiring quotes that you love, place those quotes in places you might see them often. Or you can make your own even. In your own space, whether it be at work, at home, in your car, invite positive energy into the space with affirmations. I know that normally I give you three main nuggets per episode, but this one is different in that I want you to implement this practice of affirming yourself by seeking out and strategically placing some affirmations in places you will see them. A lot of folks like to keep written affirmations on their bathroom mirror, like write them onto post-it notes and just stick them onto the mirror. If you keep a planner, they might go well in there since you see the planner all the time. And refrigerator magnets with positive sayings can be uplifting too. Music can also be affirming, so if you like to listen to music, I suggest tailoring your music to the occasion. If you are in the car for a long drive, put on some of your favorite music from when you were a kid. It'll put you in a good mood. If you have a big interview coming up, listen to music that pumps you up and makes you feel like a gladiator. Read books with stories or messages that inspire you. Follow social media accounts that offer you something more than just a glimpse at the glamorous. Follow uplifting or inspiring accounts. As you start to surround yourself with affirmations, what will likely start to happen is that you will start forming some firmer boundaries with other forces in the world and yourself. Maybe you'll adopt a policy to refrain from technology at least 30 minutes before bed to help yourself sleep better. Perhaps you'll start gravitating more toward people who are setting and achieving goals because it helps you feel the urge to move yourself forward. And people who set and achieve goals often speak differently. They're oriented with optimism and likely want to see you succeed too. If you feel like sharing your affirmations, you can do so by tagging me on Instagram at Miss Antoinette Chanel. That's M-S-A-N-T-O-I-N-E-T-T-E-C-H-A-N-E-L. I I know it's long, Uh, but that's my handle on Instagram. And if you tag me, I'll give a like and possibly even a share. Thank you so much for taking a break with me today. If you enjoyed this episode, I encourage you to share and subscribe. If you'd like to support the Midday Reset podcast, please become a patron on Patreon at patreon.com slash MDR. That's patreon.com slash MDR. Take care, my friends, and I will see you next time.